folks, today here in Goss's Garage, we have a very special guest for all of you Harley-Davidson fans. We have Lyndon Abel from All-American Harley-Davidson in Hughesville, Maryland. Lyndon, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me, Pat. All right, now, a lot of people love motorcycles. A lot of people don't fully understand them and so on. Yeah. You have clinics and seminars that are ongoing. That we do. At the dealership and other places as well. Yep. And uh, tell us about uh, something that you've... So recently we did a performance seminar, and I've done a few of these over the years. This one is a little bit updated to include Milwaukee 8, and, you know, of course it always evolves. But, you know, this isn't a super technical uh, clinic. This is a way to, um, I think, dispel some of the confusion of what some of the components are. So we go over what the components are in a, uh, uh, in a four cycle motor. And I think we have a, a slide here, right? So the, the initial part is just to get everybody on the same page. So we know what the flywheels are and what the pistons are and where the heads are and where the rocker boxes are and, and so on and so forth. And the, the really the basics of what those things are um, and what they do. And then we go over the basic function of the motor, right? So the four cycles of a four cycle motor, um, intake, power, uh, uh, comp excuse me, intake, compression, power, and exhaust, otherwise known as suck, squeeze, bang, blow, right? So, uh, because otherwise, if you start getting into the, the technical aspects of things and somebody doesn't know how this is working, uh, you know, they quickly get lost. So we want to make sure that everybody's speaking the same language, right? And then there's probably more confusion about this than anything else, <laughs> torque and horsepower, right? right? So, you know, people say, I want X number of horsepower. And, and uh, you know, it's our job to help them understand that that may not make them very happy, right? If you say, well, I want my Harley to produce X number of horsepower, I can do that in a way that probably uh, is very unsatisfying to you as a, a motorcycle rider. And so we talk about that just to, to make sure that everybody understands what torque is, what horsepower is. And I, I, I could go into that in some detail here, but it, it'd take too long. So come see us down there. And then uh, we go over some specific, uh, also I think this brings about some confusion, some specific stages, right? So I think most people have heard of a stage one or a stage two or a stage three and so forth. But you know, what does that mean? And um, Harley Davidson has uh, created some very specific packages for their new Milwaukee 8 motor. Um, we go over those, but also in general what those things mean. And, and certainly they can mean different things uh, in different places, but we go over the basics of that. Um, and then how to create more power. So this is what people show up for, but we got to kind of lay that groundwork so that we're all on the same page and sort of speak in the same language. But, um, you know, where you can make more power everywhere, which is typically displacement and compression. Obviously, uh, also a supercharger or a turbocharger could do that, but, uh, you know, we're keeping it within um, uh, naturally aspirated motors. Right. And um, so displacement and compression, and then also just moving more air. Uh, so the air part of the equation would be intake, throttle body, heads, cams, so forth, as well as the potential for larger displacement and exhaust. Um, and then, because it's key, if you move more air and you don't add the appropriate amount of fuel, uh, you're, you're just harming your motorcycle, you're not making more power. So we go through the basics of performance tuning. Um, and, and we're focused on fuel injection, but if I ever have anybody in the audience interested in carburetors, we can talk about that too. Um, but the pros and cons of a piggyback device or a reflash device or a replacement ECM, um, why some are better than others and, and in general how they work. Um, and then uh, dyno graph. So I think we have a slide of a dyno graph here and I think there's a fair amount of confusion about that. But what does a good dyno chart look like for an average street rider? Why a peaky race motor might not be appropriate for somebody on the street but very appropriate for a racetrack and so forth. Um, I think a lot of us take for granted that a customer or a consumer knows what they're looking at when they look at a dyno graph and lots of people look at them and go, I don't know, I just want to see what that max number is. But as you know, the max number is relevant, but if the graph isn't appropriate for where you're riding or driving, 
um, it, it, it's kind of irrelevant. Uh, so we, we discuss all of that to try to dispel some myths. Uh, and then we go over the basics of the new Milwaukee 8 motor, which, which um, I've talked about on your program right. before, but you know, this is a big deal. This is something that uh, doesn't happen every day. It doesn't even happen every decade. Um, so uh, some of the benefits of the Milwaukee 8 motor, uh, just a basic highlight. I do also have a Milwaukee 8 seminar as you know, but we don't go through the detail of that. Anyway, if it's something that you'd like to get some more detail on, please come see us at All American Harley Davidson, and um, uh, we'll answer all your questions and show you some interesting stuff. All right now, will you be putting any of this information on your website? Uh, absolutely. If you go to our events page, uh, you you can check for all of our upcoming seminars, and uh, we hope to have probably ten of those going, you know, at some point, and and. Uh, with popular demand, we will sometimes redo them. Gotcha. All right. How can people get in touch? Uh, give us a call at 301-274-5000. Visit our website at allamericanharley.com or just come see us. 8126 Old Leonardtown Road in Hughesville, Maryland. Lyndon, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching. And if you have a question or a comment or just want a lot of great information, check us out at goss-garage.com.